Good afternoon, it's Harry Cordiano with Flat Rate Realty. And this afternoon I'm here in San Leandro, the 94578 zip code. I've got a nice, uh, really cute uh, starter home here. Uh, it's in the Lower Bow neighborhood, B-A-L. There's an upper and a lower bow. And it's right off of uh, East 14th, which is about three blocks down this way. And you've got Bart over here. Over this way, you've got the Bayfair Mall, which also um, has the Bayfair uh, Bart Station, but uh, you're right in the middle of everything here in San Leandro. Retail, restaurants, uh, transportation, schools. But uh, what I have here is a, is a house built in 1942. It's been expanded. I believe originally it was a two bedroom, one bath and now expanded to a three bedroom, two bath at 1764 square feet. Um, I've got permits, I've got blueprints on file in case you want to take a look at them, but uh, it's a really, it's a cutie and uh, got a lot of charm and character here. It has a one car garage and obviously we've got an expanded uh, driveway here. So depending on the car size, you can probably get two cars up on the driveway. Got a nice uh, flower beds that were put in. There's been a lot of work done over the years on this pro on this house. This is a uh, an avocado tree. Got this entrance with these nice uh, columns. And I'll take you inside. So it's built in the 40s, so obviously it has uh, some of the original wood flooring. This area here at one time used to be the front porch, so you can actually see the header here. And then this is all expanded out and incorporated with the overall living space glass block uh, entry. Dual pane windows. Uh, very well insulated up on top and also has uh, central heat. So this is the, uh, the main living room and you've got a storage closet here. Kitchen's been uh, upgraded at one point. Wonderful skylight. It can actually be, uh, it can be opened. There's a turn handle or a crank handle to uh, open up the skylight. Nice countertops. Kitchen with um, pull outs, glass cabinets. This area here, obviously, I told you it was part of the uh, front porch. I believe this was either part of it or it was expanded and extended, but this is considered a, uh, a little breakfast nook area. So you can overlook the front of the house. There's even uh, Built-in laundry, I mean, uh, built-in uh, ironing board, and just a lot of, um, a lot of storage in this house, or actually in this kitchen. Gas stove, dishwasher, service counter for the dining. Tile backsplash. And then eventually this house was added on to from this point on. So they've added this uh, dining, 
area, or you could probably call it a secondary uh, living room. And then additionally, you put in the uh, office. You know, you can also use it as a potential third bedroom, but it's smaller. But it's definitely good to have an extra room like this in the house. And then over on this side, you have, this is the original side of the house. So this is uh, bedroom one, plastered walls, because that's how they built them in the 40s. This is the view from the outside. Furniture will go. It'll be gone by the time uh, we sell the property. Then you got the closets here, but they're actually much deeper than what it appears. So, bigger than average. Even has a light. And they put uh, a modular set in here for more storage. Original doors, original paneled uh, wood doors. And this is bedroom two. Smaller of the two. And again, closet. put in and this face is uh, westward overlooking the side yard this door leads to the master bedroom that was added on so that's probably another maybe 450 square feet of living space so it's a master bedroom Obviously it has a, its own bathroom and its own laundry area. Uh, currently rented uh, to a guest. So unfortunately I can't get you in there today. And then you've got an expanded uh, bathroom. Super sized. Easy step uh, shower stall. space in here. And then in the garage, it is a one car garage, but part in the mess. We're still getting rid of some stuff here. But the garage is all finished off. It even has laminate flooring installed. Big upgrade would be the circuit breakers because originally I don't think these houses uh, had them but good for a decent size mid-sized car has laundry hookups out here the washer and dryer set will stay I believe the uh, dryer I believe is gas right there has a wash basin lots of storage newer water heater and then up here um, the frame the roof frame was added onto so this would be ideally or ideal for <clears throat> additional living space upstairs has windows The framing on it is incredible. So you can either put another room up here or a loft looking down into the living room here and then put in a, a spiral staircase. So I just thought I'd point that out to you. And 
Okay, I've got drawings on this. It's all in the blueprints. So if you want to take a look at it, let me know. And then to the backyard. The backyard's really cute. It's very, uh, it's a gardener's paradise. So there's a lot of concrete walkways poured. Huge citrus tree here. Grapes. These are supposedly from Italy. I'm just starting to bear fruit. But this vine here is looks pretty mature. Nice looking arbor. Got uh, walnut tree here. Lots of storage. Another grapevine. So you can see where they've added onto the frame of the house and heightened put an additional uh, more height to the to the frame to the gable there's an access door to get up to uh, the attic so the reality it would be is ideally it would be great to put up a staircase here on the outside and maybe a deck overlooking the backyard and then having access into the uh, the upstairs area and then you've got a uh, workshop here. This will all be cleared. There's even an enclosed area here. A greenhouse. Cherry tree here. More grapes. This is the in-law unit. Then even further, just a lot of uh, avocado trees, fig tree. There's just a lot going on here. But all this was expanded, coming this way, and uh, shows really well. Here's the other side. wood siding so really interesting house it was in the family for many years and they did all the work to it but uh, we're gonna have it open first open house Saturday and Sunday coming up one to four first time ever on the market So it's at 1237 148th Avenue here in San Leandro, right off of East 14th. If you have any questions or if you'd like to make an appointment to view this property, feel free to give me a call. My name is Harry Cordiano, Flat Rate Realty, and my number is 510 506 8686 and thank you for viewing today.